Hello everyone, uh, Matthew here from Brighter Blooms and you can see we're stood in front of some pretty spectacular tulips at the moment. Uh, we've been growing tulips for about 10 years now, um, growing here in, in little pots and also in the actual black crates. You can sort of just see all the labels running down the front of the black crates there. Displaying at flower shows including Harrogate um, and Cardiff and our own Tulip Open Day. Um, we've had four gold medals at RHS Cardiff Flower Show for the tulips and numerous gold and premier gold medals at Harrogate for the displays we've created there. So I just wanted to show you these here before we sort of move them about and create displays with them, which will be in, in further videos and, and photos for you. Just a, a few of the different varieties and maybe talk about the different types that you can see down in, down in this video. So I'm going to walk along um, and, and have a look at some. And first one we get to here, which is pretty magnificent, is um, Tulip Exotic Emperor. It's a really full double tulip. It's actually been in flower now for a good couple of weeks and it does hold itself very well as um, as a double sort of tulip really. Various different shapes and tulips, there's thousands of different species, uh, sorry species, thousands of different varieties of tulips. Uh, and most of them characterised by the different sort of flower shapes really. And you can see here we've got a very pointy one. This is a variety called Ballerina, beautiful orange colour, real vivid colour that has these, these pointy petals to it really, so part of the lily flowered group. Still a few to come out here for the future weeks. Two slightly different reds here. You can see looking inside them, how they vary a bit inside actually. Got the deep black in this one on the right hand side much lighter on the inside of this one on the left. Peter Delure here on the left, a slightly shorter Pallada on the right hand side. It is a slightly deeper red, it's maybe a bit difficult to see in the video. Now this one here, this yellow one, sort of a, a lightish yellow called um, Sunny Prince. It's part, from a, it's part of a range of tulips which all end in prints, so we've got candy prints and purple prints all within that range, there's a, f there's a few different ones. They're really sturdy growing tulips, very solid stems to them, getting to about this sort of height, um, like 18, 20 inches, maybe something like that. Uh, and they last for ages, so we've had times where we've actually taken this to Cardiff, put it on display, uh, and it's been that good at the end of the show, we've actually then taken it off and brought it on into Harrogate Flower Show as well because it's just held that well, which is pretty impressive really for a tulip. Really full, full on doubled um, Foxtrot, this variety. Very nice pink colour. It actually looks a lot pinker, I would say, in real life than, the, than what I'm seeing on the video screen here. Again, fairly sturdy, not too tall, which is, is kind of nice, really, so I'm not going to blow over. Okay, just to the left of here, though, we get on to uh, a couple of my favourites, really. So we've got this red and yellow one called Banya Luca, and to the left of it, it's sort of yellowish, turning on orange, and eventually all of these will go orange. This is Daydream on the left. Now, you can't smell this on the video, but I can smell that this is actually scented, this one. It does have a sort of uh, quite a nice fragrance to it. Both of these two, and you can sort of tell actually by the black mark in the centre, are both Darwin hybrids you know, from a range of tulips that are really good at coming back year on year. All the Darwin hybrids have great ability for, for sort of coming back each year, so it's a really good range to grow. And there's a lot of different colours within the range. Just to skip past these two to this pink one, which is another Darwin hybrid again. Uh, Van Eyck, this one. It's kind of just getting to past its best, really. And the petals are just starting to, to get a bit of uh, marking on the edge of them. So these were all the potted ones that were for, for sale and maybe for a bit of the display. On the other side, these are all grown in crates for our Tulip Open Day. Um, so some of the varieties you'll see will be the same. 
but here you can see not open yet but you can see sort of the uh the characteristics that are going to come from it uh this mottled sort of bud that's on here it's a parrot tulip this particular one called green river well, i've got one a bit further down that's maybe a bit fuller uh into flower uh, and they are very very frilly uh, mottled uh, mix of colors usually within the flower let's see if we've got that's a bit further down spring green been a popular one for a while now one of the viridiflora ranges so you've got this flash of green up the actual petal so if I step over here, that's spring green. This is flaming spring green. So you've got the green flash there, but this time you've got the red flame up through, through the actual tulip there. Amusingly named this one. This is hot pants uh, Which tends to get a, a bit of a chuckle when you're talking about it at gardening clubs um, Again interesting sort of color to it really this uh, almost fluorescent pink really uh, With the the creamy colored going on white sort of uh, coloration there I'm just gonna skip across here. I mentioned the parrot tulips earlier. There's one here that's actually just started to open. It tends to be a little bit later actually the parrots. So this is a variety called Rococo. Again, you can see a lot of them in bud, uh, mottled sort of uh, uh, coloration coming through. This one's a red one and quite nice this one because it doesn't get too tall. Some of the parrots do get a little bit tall. Not everybody's cup of tea. Um, this is probably my favorite of the parrots, but some of the others I, I find a little bit um a little bit iffy <laughs> as to whether i'd go down down that line really so that's sort of a, a range that we have and we're going to put these out on some displays now for you so 